and you're signed on uh, for 2022 and 2023. Uh, can you give us your initial thoughts on being involved in the more season? Yeah, well, obviously really stoked to have signed on for another couple of years post-2021. Um, um, yeah, I feel really grateful that I'm here in the first place um, and that uh, the club has you know, shown um, some faith in uh, my ability and uh, my willingness to be part of an organisation that really wants to, to, to move um, move it forward. Um, it's really appealing and you know, this gives me the opportunity to sort of really dig my toes in now and, and be part of that journey. Uh, what excites you most about this club in the near future? Oh, look, this is, uh, you know, the Chiefs is in my, in my region, isn't it? You know, I've sort of grown up and obviously um, supported the Chiefs and had a number of my players come and play at the Chiefs. Um, and, you know, it's fantastic to, to be, um, you know, really an integral part of the organisation now. Um, what really excites me is, you know, the opportunities ahead. We've got a young squad. Um, you know, some really talented players and some outstanding leaders and you know, there's, um, there's an opportunity there I reckon to, to create a bit of a legacy if we can keep this group together and just keep building on the, on the, the you know, um, yeah, season on season to get to ultimately where we want to get to and that's winning championships. Uh, what are you most looking forward to uh, with working with Getty? I've already got a really good relationship with Getty. Um, you know, he was really welcoming um, in 2020 allowed me to come over and you know, see the see the organisation from the top down. Um, we caught up numerous times and building that you know that, that sort of mutual relationship um, on a deeper level other than just sort of acquaintances. Um, but coming to the Chiefs in the first place, one of the you know, real attractions was to be able to work alongside uh, Gets, you know, one of the world's most experienced coaches. Um, I've always been a head coach so it would actually be nice in some respects to be able to step back and you know, be mentored by somebody um, with his level of experience and that's only going to help me in my, in my coaching journey. So, you know, massive opportunity for me and one I'm really grateful for. Last one. Um, so first week back into pre-season, uh, what's the vibe been like uh, with the new squad? Well, the first week's been really good. Um, first and foremost, we're happy that you know, the, the majority of the squad, squad come back in really good shape. Um, a lot of personal best, which is always a good sign, particularly when you come in first week after the festive season, there's always a little bit of anxiety both both on the coaches and the players' part, but uh, they turned up in really good shape and that's a, that's a great starting point. Um, as always, when you get a little bit of a new group together, there's a, there's a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of, you know, what, what's coming next and everyone feeling their, feeling their way, but um, really take my hat off to some of the more experienced guys here that have um, been part of the furniture, really sort of demonstrating early on what it's like to be a chief and, and um, and yeah, I'm sure that the, the culture and the, the enthusiasm and uh, you know all the technical, tactical stuff will, will grow over the coming weeks and we'll, we'll be ready when the season kicks off.